Hello, my name is Laron K. Jenkins, Senior IT Asset Management Consultant for Configure Consulting. I am a certified HP professional with 15 years experience in IT asset management, 12 of those years successfully implementing HP Asset Manager and related business technology optimization solutions in various industry sectors, including banking, pharmaceuticals, government, and chemical manufacturing. And I am very excited to talk to you today about Asset Manager's financial management module, focusing on the total cost of ownership of your assets and configure consulting's Quick Start IT Asset Management Solution Offering. Our agenda for today will include an overview of Asset Manager's Financial Management Module, why it is so important to manage and control the total cost of ownership of your assets, how leveraging your existing asset data can enable you to implement a TCO strategy, review various TCO examples and reports, and finally, a brief summary on Configure Consulting's Quick Start ITAM solution offering. So let's jump right in with the financial module overview. As IT budgets are under pressure to do more with less, even in the moderately improved economy, IT needs to focus more than ever on acting as a business. As a result of this new demand, IT needs to understand its operating costs and be able to demonstrate the value of the services it provides to other parts of the organization. Asset Manager's Financial Management Module comes with several features that can enable IT inventory managers to track actual equipment and services costs against planned budgets, including taxes and chargebacks as well as reconciling fixed assets. In conjunction with Asset Manager's Procurement, Portfolio, and Contracts modules, the Financial Management module can enable the IT department to answer questions like, what equipment is not being utilized more effectively, i.e. sitting in a stock room long after it's been paid for, or paying for leased equipment that's not even in use or in production. Knowing an instance, for example, how much the company has lost and missing or stolen equipment, or what vendors aren't meeting their service level agreements, costing you more time and money in day-to-day -day operations. And finally, a comprehensive view of what it costs to own and operate assets or services in your organization. It is this last question that's at the core of total cost of ownership, as seen in this computer models by yearly TCO report. What cost categories or cost types are generating all that expense? Hosting service fees, software license purchases, maintenance. Controlling the total cost of ownership of assets and or services is a major factor in having a competitive advantage in business and maximizing your company's bottom line. Computer Consulting's Quick Start ITAM solution offering, which includes implementation of the financials module, can get you on the right path to do exactly that. The objective of total cost of ownership is to identify all direct and indirect costs that are incurred over time as a result of owning and managing hardware and software. By quantifying these various costs, calculating the TCO is the best means to identify abnormally high or redundant expenses generated by your assets or services, as shown here in this chart above for a specific desktop model. Industry analyst studies indicate that implementing a coherent TCO strategy can bring about a 30 to 40 percent reduction in TCO in a two-year time frame. However, failing to address factors that contribute to TCO can lead to as much as a 50 percent increase in total cost of ownership over the same time period. And that's demonstrated here graphically between company A, which has reduced its TCO, and company B, which isn't even paying attention to it, and you can see how the cost trend goes up. But how can these various direct and indirect costs be captured without a ton of manual effort? That's where leveraging your existing asset data comes into play. By using HP Connected, a world-class 
data and platform integration tool, you can interface your disparate data sources with Asset Manager and feed its various modules all the data required for calculating TCO. And that includes everything from integrating with your procurement system to determine acquisition costs, or your service desk or help desk system to determine support and maintenance costs. You can even integrate with uh, contracts data to determine other services costs. You can even import from uh, indirect sources like spreadsheets or access databases to capture other ancillary costs. Understanding how these various data sources can be leveraged to help maintain a centralized asset inventory database and contribute to calculating TCO, we can immediately put all this information to good use proving a positive return on investment of your company's existing resources. Here's a classic scenario. In this example, your company is considering discontinuing use of the most costly desktop model in their environment based on a three-year depreciation schedule. TCO can determine which desktop model actually costs your company the most money to manage as opposed to simply throwing out the most expensive desktop model at the time of purchase in 2011. The total cost of ownership of an individual asset includes hardware and software acquisition costs. These are expenses incurred when buying hardware or software and can be readily reconciled with your company's procurement system. Management costs, such as installation, support, and or maintenance for upgrades is also included and can be sourced from your help desk or service management system. Finally, end user costs may also be included in a TCO calculation, although end user costs tend to be indirect, like employees performing support tasks without the usual support channels or going through the usual support channels or time spent by users training themselves, uh, for instance, taking online courses with their computers, or testing hardware and software uh, at their desks, or just reading uh, training manuals, etc. Certain studies have concluded that these indirect costs can make up as much as 27% of added costs for a given asset. As you can see here above, the various expense lines, purchase, installation, maintenance, uh, all are recorded against the asset automatically via the normal asset lifecycle processes either directly from within asset manager, i.e. through the procurement cycle, and or externally via connected on a scheduled and or conditional basis with the aforementioned external data sources. Each expense is tied to a category and or cost type that may or may not be applied against the planned budget or enable special rules for TCO calculations. For example, if an expense is entered as a projected cost against an asset, that particular uh, value or number is excluded from the TCO calculation, as TCO is based only on incurred and locked costs. Out of the box, simply clicking the Calculate TCO button you see here can generate the total cost ownership for this desktop provided financial parameters are linked or present for this asset, including, but not limited to, incurred costs, as you've, as you've already seen, uh, chargeback costs, the business value start and end or retirement date, and the economic depreciation schedule value at the time of the TCO calculation. However, it is more common that an asset manager workflow is enabled to automatically calculate TCO on a schedule basis, i.e. once a year. Apart from assets, all of these parameters are similarly taken into account when calculating TCO for a model or business service, with the added dimension of understanding TCO as a collection of assets and or sub-assets, i.e. by model or as part of a client resource relationship service, such as the various components that comprise a virtual cluster. You could therefore determine the total cost of operating that virtual cluster. It is at this higher level of quantifying TCO where we can answer the company's question of which desktop model is the most costly and should be discontinued at the end of the typical desktop depreciation cycle of three years.
by calculating TCO at the model level. All assets based on the models and questions are updated with new TCO values. Again, simply by clicking the TCO button or running it on a workflow schedule. The average of all those assets are now reflected in the TCO of the model. The company can use this information to make a determination on which model it should stop using. The data shown here in the list view pane above can be exported directly into an Excel spreadsheet or copy pasted into an email. You can even use Asset Manager's out-of-the-box statistics generator and make Excel type charts of the TCO values directly from the data for formal reports or presentations. And the winner is the Destron X51. It is, as you see from the graph, way too costly. By further reviewing the cost categories and types of the expenses against this particular model, your company discovered that this model is prone to an abnormal number of support desk tickets, as well as higher installation and maintenance costs than normal, as compared to the other desktop models. Moreover, the company may want to spend more money on the less costly DeskPro HP DC7100 or its successor going forward when the next workstation refresh cycle comes around. The financial management module and all its features, including TCO, which I've highlighted today, is one of several modules available in Asset Manager that Computer Consulting offers in its Quick Start ITAM solution, which includes HP Asset Manager Enterprise Suite and Universal Discovery Inventory, and is focused on reducing your company's hardware software management costs, proactively monitor and manage your software compliance, and demonstrate the service value and cost savings potential of your assets. This initial deployment solution offering can be implemented in as little as five weeks for a cost of only $50,000. Thank you for your attention today. Many of you may already have HP Asset Manager set up, and if so, you are likely just a few incremental steps away from being able to utilize the features presented here. I hope you found this presentation interesting and enlightening. Our goal at Computer Consulting is to generate the highest possible return on investment of your existing IT investments and asset data. If you have any further questions or would like to arrange a one-on-one -on -one demonstration and or discussion of any of our other solution offerings or product demos, please don't hesitate to contact myself or our sales and business development representative, Ms. Anu Rao. Thank you. Thank you again, and have a great day.